Hi, my name is Jeff and welcome back to my workshop. We're going to add signs to the Burdick Freight Dock Kit. Uh, the kit comes with a number of railroad specific signs as well as some advertising signs. You can see the railroad signs here. We're going to use an assortment of them. So I'm going to start by cutting out the Watch for Train sign, the yellow warning sign. We'll move the building out of the way for safety and get a straight edge and an exacto knife with a new number 11 blade in there and then we can start cutting out signs on the railroad signs i'm going to use this watch for trains and also there's two uh, no trespassing railroad property signs i think we'll use those as well but we'll start with this watch for train signs and Carefully cutting along the edge using a straight edge so I get a clean cut doing top and bottom and then we'll go back and do the left and right sides and then we can move on and get the rest of the signs we're going to use cut out. I like to overshoot my cuts a little bit to make sure I get clean cuts as you can see by doing that the sign will comes out cleanly from the sheet okay I'm gonna get out cut out the rest of the signs I'm gonna use from there and I've got those on and I also printed up a sign that said 74th Avenue Team Track, which is what this is going to be building will be called when it gets onto a layout. This lay, this sign will go onto the Arlington Heights Society. This building is going on the Arlington Heights Society of Model Engineers portable layout. And if you're watching this when it came out, first come out, you can see the structure in person. If you will be, if you're going to be in Rockford, Illinois, on the March 15th. 16th and 17th I will have the building out on the layout uh, in the place it's going to go. There may not be much scenery around it yet, but uh, we will have the structure there and ready. So please come out to the show. I'll put a link to the show information in the description below. So these signs are just printed on copy paper. Uh, I used Excel to create them. And... I actually made two of those. I would attach the signs. I'm going to lay the kit on its side here and figure out where we're going to place. And I think below that upper window along the tower is a good place for this. Yeah, I like the looks of that. So we'll take the sign and we're applying Eileen's tacky glue to the back, just a thin layer over the whole thing. And I'm holding the sign in tweezers so I can get a good smooth coat and not cover up a lot of space and have most of the paper the glue applied to it. I'm just tacking off so it's nice and tacky and we don't have too much and then we can place the sign centered under the window and press it into place. Uh, looks like one of the legs fell off. We'll glue that back, get that glued back on. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing and get the other signs attached as well. It's one of the issues with wood kits and especially ones that use some board by board construction is they are a little bit on the delicate side. So we'll add the 74th Street sign, second one to the other side of the layout. And then now uh, come back and uh, when we have all those signs applied.
Okay, now we're going to add that watch for railroad sign. I'm going to do this on the uh, short side of the dock roof, which is the tall side of the building. Again, getting the glue all over it and placing it at a good height, making sure it's right side up. And we'll get one of our no trespassing railroad property signs on here as well. And I'm just going to glue the rest of these on using the same method. And then when we're done, I will show you what we've got. By the way, while I'm doing this, if you've enjoyed this video, please make sure you give it a good big thumbs up. Uh, it does help the YouTube algorithm, helps more people find me. Uh, I am trying to grow this channel. So everything helps. And if you haven't already subscribed, please make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications so you get notified when I upload new videos. Uh, I've got a couple of other projects that I'm planning for after this one that I will share with you uh, when I get them. So with that side done, we'll finish and do add signs to the other side of the kit in the same manner. Okay, with the signs in place, you can see the building. Uh, it's starting to look good. In the next episode, we're going to weather the roofs and the walls and the signs. Uh, get some rust on there and uh, some fading on the roof. And that will wrap up the video on this project. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions or questions, please leave comments below. And thank you for watching.